just passed the border in Vietnam. The people speak English. The language is written in normal letters. So now we're going to try and head out to Sapa. Good morning. We have just woken up actually no two hours ago because there's a one hour difference in China and there was a cock roar that was singing this morning. We are in more of a rural area this time in Sapa or close to Sapa. It is currently raining so maybe go for a walk but not too far. Hopefully tomorrow we can maybe rent a motorbike and get to see more of the rice terraces that they have here in Vietnam. So we're staying three days in Khao Mai, a rustic place and the name Khao Mai actually means cloud bridge and the reason why it's named that is pretty clear. We're at a place where clouds tend to stagnate and we've had that yesterday evening at six it was pitch black already completely blocked any sunlight so uh, we're now walking it's been raining this morning and so we're now just breaking through the cloud patch uh, having been able to see the rice terraces below a lovely fountain as well and now we keep on going up to see what we're gonna find Ooh, damn, Tappy. So there's a perfectly working bridge there, but it costs 5,000 to get over, which is the equivalent of five centimes. And we're cheap skates. How two dumb white people lose all their electronics by trying to save 50 centimes. If you fall down, it's not too bad. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Oh, I'm going to take Well done, high five. <laughs> now this is a lot more Indiana Jones. Tonight I'm sleeping with Mother Teresa. <laughs> so sexy. So today's our last day in Sapa. We spent three nights in Khao Mai, a lovely homestead, a bit isolated in the rice terraces. We're here with Holly Hello. from Brisbane, <laughs> who decided to tag along on our last day, who we met at the Khao Mai homestead. We're gonna see the museum, we have some food, and at some point, we're gonna have to head down to Lao Cai, get our train to hitch all the way to Hanoi. So this is a museum. We were so close and yet we walked past it. Here's a secret layer. It's actually on the first floor of the shop and this is the museum. Yes, it looks a lot more like a museum. Hey doggy. Up you go, up you go. <coughs> That's right, faster than Justine. <laughs> okay, we are now in somewhere in Vietnam, close to the border of China. 
and we are having our first night in a sleeping train. How awesome is that? Awesome! awesome. <laughs> Hi everyone, so we arrived last night in Inbin after taking a sleeping train from Aokai and arriving in Hanoi. We took then another train to get to Inbin. We are today in Tang An. Tong An. We are we are today in Tong An where we are taking a boat to travel across several small lakes that are all interconnected through small little caves so you have to really like scoop down and I mean I mean really really low Um, so at the moment the sights are nice and now we're going to go and have a look at the temple. National Geographic. Justine is taking the picture of the year 2017. If you wish to follow the rest of our adventures, make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.